What's going on everybody? It's Carmine from Barmine Tech and today we're going to be working on adding a network drive to our Proxmox node and setting it up so we can back up our VMs to it. So let's get right into it. So if you remember from a few videos ago we added the, the Docker Samba container and we added the drive as a NAS. We made a little network share. So if I look over here on this machine, here's that drive. And if I go into Portainer, here's the Samba container. So if you don't have this configured, you're going to need to set that up for this video. Unless you have another network share or a network drive or a NAS set up somehow else. If you want to set it up with a Docker container, I'll have a card up in this corner of the video of how to set it up. But let's just continue right with it. So after you get the network drive set up, you need to add it to your data center so your actual data center could use it. So I'm not going to be working in the VM level, I'm going to be actually working at the data center level. And I'm going to come over here to storage, and we're going to come and add new drive. So the storage tab over here handles all of our drives for the actual data center. So from here there's the add button, and I'm going to click the SMB CIFS option. So if you remember, the Samba drive is technically an SMB drive because that's how it falls into. So then over here, it's going to give us this new window, we're going to have to add some information for for so I'm gonna call this backup because I'm gonna use this drive mainly to back stuff up to so now the server it wants the server ID so it's gonna be the IP address of the VM that the Samba container actually runs off of or the NAS that you're using or other network drive you're using so for me it's dot 23 now it needs the username and the password to access the share and then I need to point it to the right share so if you don't type in the right credentials it's not going to be able to see the shares on the drive so for me I typed in the right credentials so it sees Portainer which is the share on my drive and then you could also select what kind of content you want to be able to save to this drive so I want to be able to save ISO images and I'll do VZ dump backup files so I'm going to make it so I can actually back up my machines to this drive I'm going to click add. So we're going to give it a second and now you can see it added back up to my storage and I can see it's listed here. So now I have this drive actually saved to my data center and the data center is able to use it. So I'm going to whack whack into it real quick. I'm going to open up run and I'm going to go into, if I could type it, I'm going to go into that drive, type in my credentials, and now we can see I'm into that network drive, and we're actually going to set it up so we can back up this VM. So this is the next part, so when you start setting up your VMs, just in case you don't want to lose them, you can actually back them up with Proxmox. So if I come into here and I select my, drive, my machine I want to work with, there's a backup option. I can come over here, and then I can click backup now and it's going to ask me my target and I can make notes so I like to organize them so I know how long ago my backup was from so I'm going to do that and it's going to give you some basic information but I just like to put a simple note so I know what date I backed this machine up on so if I have to roll back to it I know how long ago it's from so I'm going to select my storage mode I'm just going to do it that way I'm going to click backup it's going to go through here and it's going to go and back up my VM. So once this is all done, we'll be back. This might take a few minutes. Um, a big thing to keep in mind that it's going to back up the total storage for that machine. So if you have a VM that has 250 gigabytes, it's going to back up a backup file that's 250 gigabytes. So keep that in mind for your actual drive that you're backing up to. So for me, I only have 225 gigs. This Docker container is about 40 gigs, so it works. Uh, I made this mistake on one of my machines on my other server. It's 8 terabytes, and I clicked back up, not realizing it's going to back up all 8 terabytes. Uh, so it broke. But uh, I, I was able to fix it. Um, but just keep that in mind when you go to back up a machine that you can't back up a VM that's bigger than your actual backup drive. So when this is all done, we'll come back and we'll look at it. So this backup job is actually pretty fast and you can see it's all done. Just like all tasks in Proxmox, when they're done, it'll pop up task OK in the window. So that'll let you know the job is finished. So it tells me that my backup's all done. So now let's go look at it. So I already went into that drive. 
So if I refresh the page and I come into dump, you can see here's the new files that are made from my backup. So now I have this machine backed up and it's ready to go. So that's empty. Uh, I have templates. But that's okay. Now that we have that new drive over here, so I have backup and I can come over here to upload and I can actually select the file. So I'm going to come down to slash slash 192.168.50.23 slash container and I can add it this way. So now we're going to upload it and it's going to take a second to upload so when this is done we'll come right back. So it took about a minute but now it's all uploaded so we can see again task OK so that means that I have the ISO file. So now I'm on the backup drive and I have the ISO file. So I come into create VM, just give it a random name, and I could select my backup drive, and there's my ISO image that I want to use. So you can use this with any ISO images, and you can just come right into here into your node and add it onto that drive. Because I made it so this drive can actually hold ISO images. So that's a, another little cool trick. So, uh, one more thing I forgot to mention, so when you run a backup on your VM, under the backup tab, it will show you your VM. So here's my notes that I told it what it was, and if I want to restore to this point, I can just restore back to this backup point. So I've never done this, but if you had to, you can. So it's helpful to have, it's helpful to have a backup, especially if something happens, you never know if something might happen. So it's always good to have backups. I try to backup my machines after I make any serious changes just so I have something in case. So I know this was a quicker video, but I think having backups of your machines are crucial to any home lab that you might have. There's nothing worse than you make a quick silly mistake and you kill a VM and now you need to rebuild the whole VM from scratch or you lose power and it corrupts it because it didn't shut down right or anything that might happen. So having backups is crucial. Uh, it's crucial if you're saving files for school work or anything else so why not back up your home web stuff as well if you have the opportunity to so again i have the video of how to set up the network share of docker and the docker container with sandbook so we use that in this video or if you have any other nas or network drive already configured you could use that uh, so incorporating that with the backup system that we just did with proxmox that they already have built in we set up so we can back up all of our VMs and we have it so we can save ISO images onto it to make it easier to install them in our VM into our Proxima host for VMs. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I have a bunch of good home web videos and we're going to keep working up more. So I'll see you in the next one.